Hey, Ronnie Dale, for wheeling at westernaustralia.com. Welcome to another cooking video, and welcome to Bones Rock Camp. It's the best name I could come up with. It's a rock with bones on it. Anyway, it's not actually a cooking video, it's a baking video. I'm going to show you how to bake bread, like real bread, in a camp oven, and some dampers, different styles. The first two recipes were made up in the Kimberley. The last recipe is made right here at Bones Rock Camp. Stay tuned. Tonight, we are going to make a damper. Now, this will be similar to the Wongan Hills damper I've done in a previous uh, adventure. Um, right now, we're in the Kimberley. That's the Cowden River. And we, we are 50 k's from Walcott River. Well, Walcott Inlet, sorry. So, Wongan Hills damper, change it up a little bit. This one will have cocktail sausages in it. You use bacon, I'm using cocktail sausages. One onion, a bit of cheese, shredded cheese, and half a can of Asahi, or 250 mils. And three and a half cups of flour, self-raising flour. I don't have a bowl, so I'm gonna use my bucket. I've cleaned my bucket with the river water, boiled it, ready to go, and we're gonna do it in the camp oven. Doesn't matter if it froths off a bit, you're gonna mix it anyway. You scratch the rest of your ingredients in. Now we're in the bush. It doesn't matter if you spill a bit. This is where you mix it, and you've got to be rough to it. Now this is a brand new bucket. That's why it looks so clean. Here's our damper. So in the camp oven, I have a trivet, which this is going to sit on, and that'll help prevent the bottom from burning. Now this will need about half an hour, and then it's good as gold. And I'll show you how many coals we put on top of it. But what you want is you want good coals on top of it for the whole entire half an hour. All right, time to put the bread in. In goes the damper. Bread mix on with the lid, and now I'm going to put some coals on top of it, which I don't have many of. <clears throat> so, if you don't have too many coals around. You can just add more sticks as you go, and you're going to create your own coals, and that'll do the same job. I haven't put too much underneath it, uh, but about 10 minutes before it's completely finished, I usually like chucking a few bits of wood around it that's on fire, just to get a bit more heat in from the side, and then we should be right as rain. See you in 30 minutes. We're now checking. In over 30 minutes. Been a bit distracted by something down by the water. Oh yeah. Time to cut it in half and do a bit of tasting. There you go, John. Now, put the spotlight on him. Right, there we go. It's a bit hot still. Mm -hmm. First size. 
Tastes good. Let's get the real critic, the baker. There you go, Dad. Be honest. Mm, that's not too bad. There you go. Mm. Veal ox, it must be good. <laughs> Key thing you must do is when you pull it out, you, you got to let it rest because it's actually still baking on the inside. So the next one I'll show you is how to actually do proper bread in a camp oven. There's a bit more to it, but stay tuned for that one. G'day and welcome from Mary's Crossing in the Kimberley. I'm going to show you how to bake some bread in the camp oven. So this is proper bread. Ingredients, plain flour, three cups. One and a half cups of room temperature water. We'll go for 25 degrees. One teaspoon of salt. One sachet of yeast. One little sachet of sugar. Baking paper. Wooden spatula, this is for mixing with. And a bucket, if you have a bowl, use a bowl. I'm using a bucket, multiple use, with items out in the bush. So I'm not going to be too accurate with measurements because we're out in the bush. So about three cups of flour. Salt. Yeah, about that much. A bit more. So it's about a teaspoon. Then we have the sugar, which we'll mix with the yeast into a warm cup of water. So not too hot, otherwise you kill the yeast. Then goes one sachet of yeast, sugar, Now this is a really sticky dough, so be aware of that. And we go with the water. Now this water is pretty hot. Doing a bit of a mix there, a bit too much, there we go. Alright. So as I said, a really, really sticky mix. I have added a little bit more flour just so it makes it easier to work with but it is meant to be really, really sticky, as you can see. All right, so let's sprinkle a bit of flour on the table so you can kind of work with it. It's really, really sticky. Cheers, Yuha. Cling wrap. Here's your cling wrap. Thank you, sir. All right, so get a nice round shape, or whichever shape you like, like so. And we pop that into the bucket. make as best airtight seal as we can and then we're going to put it under the Land Cruiser and that's the secret. The purpose of the cling wrap is to allow the dough to rest for about an hour to an hour and a half because we've added sugar to it. No sugar, it will need three hours minimum. Right there, out of the sun. So now we just need to get the fire going and we'll be ready to bake some bread. I'll see you then. When I said three hours, that is if you don't add sugar. Sugar speeds up the process of the raising of the bread with the yeast. So, it's only been an hour. Yeah, exactly an hour. All right, so I'm adding an extra piece of paper because this thing has grown a bit. Now you gotta be careful when you pull it out so it doesn't collapse. Go. Extra pair of hands. Lid on. Where's my glove? Put a bit of coal in the bottom. And then we'll leave that for half an hour. 
Okay, it has been approximately 30 minutes. Let's have a look. There we go, one baked bread. That came out all right. Come for a look, mate. Good. Smells right, eh? So tomorrow, I reckon we try some of your homemade honey mm. on the bread. Yeah, definitely. Well, it is the next morning, so the bread has had a long time to rest. And here we go. And we've got some homemade honey here. Wayne, you can come in, mate. All right, how should we cut it? Go for the guts, eh? Yeah. There we go. Plenty of air pockets. What do you reckon, Wayne? I'm sorry, I don't. Alright, let's try some of your honey. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> That's not bad, eh? Mmm. A little sugar hit. <laughs> yeah, is the bake up? Where well, this fella here? You want to try, mate? Plate noodle. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, Tanga. <laughs> <laughs> there you pretty... go, mate. Oh, very good, Tanga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about Andy. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it's good. All right. We've got the baker's approval. So there you go, it's, it's quite easy to make. Very little ingredients. Doesn't take that long to make either. So. Welcome back for the next one. This one is another damper and I'm going to make it a bit more savory. So we've got salami, we've got black olives that are pitted. We've got some sun-dried tomato strips and self-raising flour. I'm not going to use beer this time, because I'm running ahead of beer. We're going to use water. Yep, water. So again, we're going to mix it in the bucket. And we are going to take three and a half cups of flour. So it's pretty much the same mixture as the first damper that I showed you. Except for a few different ingredients. And there's no beer in it. Now before we put the water in, let's cut up the ingredients first. So what we want here is small chunks of salami. Can be a bit strippy if you like. And the olives in halves pretty well. Look, you can even squash them in half like that. Now these are black olives, that's what I prefer, but use any type of olive you like and with the sun-dried tomato don't need too much attention that there will do you here's our bucket just put all the raw ingredients straight in there just toss it all in there And then we need some water. Always carry 40 litres with me. And then we mix. And just like the last one, we're going to be rough with it. Try and get all the flour out of your bucket. Because if you're gonna use this bucket for a shower later, you may end up like a wall we prep for wallpaper. Because all this flour turns into glue.
Okay, what we're going to do different this time is we're going to put a slice across and we'll make like a bit of an X. And that will help us break it into four pieces once it's done. Like so. And don't cut too deep, which is about 10 mil or half an inch. Okay, the camp oven's been in there for a little bit just to get some heat into it. I've now laid a small bit of coals over here. Most of the coals are going to go on top, just like before. It's a bit windy today. Alright, so again, we'll just pop them right in there. We'll put loads of coals on top. We'll let that sit for half an hour, just like the other one. Looking forward to it, I haven't had breakfast yet. Alrighty, so here we go. That one did stick to the bottom a little bit. I didn't oil it or put enough flour in the bottom. Mmm. Alright. Well now I can talk because I finished eating. You have to take my word for it, that is delicious. There's no one else around here to taste this, so all you have is me. So this will be my lunch. So I might crack another tinny, sit back and enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learnt how to do some dampers and bread. If you have any questions, put them down below. Also the recipes down below. You can subscribe somewhere here and you can support the creation like these videos at patreon.com slash See you in the next video.